Hey guys, Brett Williams here from LifeWithOptions.net and on today's video I want to talk about anger. It's something that I believe is not spoken about enough and it's possibly not even understand by enough people. So let's start to bring the awareness and let's start talking about anger. Okay, first and foremost, what is anger? At the end of the day, anger is just another emotion. On a previous video, I did speak about emotions, so what I'll do is I'll link that one below so you can go and check it out. But ultimately, what I was conveying in that particular video is that you are not your emotions. You are experiencing an emotion that we call, in this case, anger. And anger has a particular way in which it shows up and the way it is perceived and deemed and viewed by the world and generally can be something that is outwardly expressed towards others or perhaps um, in a you know in a rage or in a, a vocal loud rage um, all of these sorts of things and one of the most important things to think about and to remember when it does start to show up for yourself is that you are experiencing it you are not the anger itself. Yes, granted the anger might be being expressed from you, but you are not the anger itself. And what I want to talk about specifically around here is give you some sort of an insight into understanding your anger. And before that, let me just share a little bit about my story. I know my parents would remember all the times that I punched the walls or outwardly expressed my anger and when dad told me off when I was a teenager. and. You know, it's not something I'm proud of, but at the end of the day, it's something that happened. And having grown up in a family that wasn't, you know, emotions were never something that we spoke about. It was always, you know, if you started to get angry and start expressing that emotion, frustration and anger, dad would just basically tell you to, you know, stop it. <laughs> now, emotions are not something you can just switch off. Although these days, now that I'm starting to understand the triggers of the emotions, I am actually able to diffuse it a lot easier. And triggers are something that I've convey a lot in my messages and also at the same time a path to self mastery program where I start to uncover and guide you through how to understand your destructive thought triggers and your emotional triggers and that sort of thing. Um, I'll link that below so you can go check that out too. But coming back to the anger side, I also used to work security and the number of times that I had people say, Brett, you're just way too calm, you're way too relaxed. And the truth of it, and this was my response, again, not proud of it, but something I would say because I didn't understand it, was that, yeah, I might be cool, calm and collective, but if somebody ticks me off, look out because all hell is going to break loose. And I would say that because I didn't understand my anger enough. I wasn't able to be in my anger because I didn't understand where the edge was because I knew from all this past experience that when I got to that point, I would just snap. I would just fall over the edge and to some degree, it was almost like being blacking out and just not being consciously present and aware and th the truth of it is it scares me and I'm sure if that's something that you've experienced or you know people that experience the truth is it is absolutely scaring to get to a place like that where you're just taken over by this rage that a lot of the time you don't even understand because it's possibly anger and frustration that's been suppressed for so many years and hasn't been able to be expressed or be vented or be dissipated and when so it could be the smallest of things and then you have this biggest reaction from the person that you're talking to or yourself that's what it is it's the fact that society has us suppress our anger now look I don't think it's a bad thing to some degree you know I don't really want to be walking down the street and having everybody yelling and screaming in, in rage but the thing is there are places that you can express it and release it and whether that is you know it could be going for a walk in nature but even then like it will dissipate it but it doesn't necessarily tap all the way into it sometimes you just need to go to the gym and you just need to jump on the treadmill till you exhaust yourself or you know go and punch a punching bag or something like that so you can ex exert that energy and start to drain that tank just to balance you out it's a perfectly healthy thing to do and because anger is not something that is readily spoken about I just think it's deemed to be kind of like social media or oh, never nobody ever has a bad day you always put your good parts on it um, 
you know, there are definitely times where you've got this anger that you're building up and you've got to be able to find a way for yourself to express it and to release it and to work with it. Now, for me, one of the biggest exercises that I did a couple of years back at a personal development program, we were given we were given some words, we were given a song, song lyrics, and these songs were, I don't know, very old classic songs. The exercise was that we had to be in a way that we could not be in, in the world. And for me, it was anger. Like, it was something that I could not be with because because I didn't understand my barriers. So you were paired up in partners and you had somebody there and they were just gonna hold space so that you could be however you needed to be. And as a result of that exercise, my whole body went into shock for about 30 minutes afterwards because I had so much pent up anger inside of me that I was so efficient in tapping into that I was able to exert that and really start to unlock it. And the thing that I've found since being able to tap into that anger and release it is that it's almost, I enjoy now the freedom in which I experience as I can feel anger rising up because I also understand it. I'm no longer scared by it. So I'd even say these days I have a healthy relationship with anger, which might be a concept that's a little bit weird and a bit left field, but it's the truth. And my goal through the Path to Self Mastery program is to also guide other people to be able to have a healthy relationship with anger because no emotion should be suppressed. Emotions are there for us to experience. They're there to teach us a lesson, to guide us into what to learn and to grow from ourselves. And anger is no different. So one key thing just to give you as well is understanding where anger leads to. And so you can start to understand for yourself and hopefully work to catch yourself moving into anger sooner. And that is that frustration precedes anger. So when you start to feel yourself getting a little bit frustrated, that's when the unconscious mind is already starting to be triggered, which potentially, in depending on the situation, could lead towards you expressing this emotion we call anger. And it's key to understand that because when you start to feel yourself frustrated, if you can bring your conscious awareness to it, then you are able to pick it up and manage it a lot quicker. Because it's when you start to get into the frustration, the unconscious mind is already in action. And it can be so, so quick. It can be a split second that all of a sudden you're straight into anger. But the sooner that you can pick it up is the sooner that you can become in control and start to develop a healthier relationship with your anger or even find yourself in a position where if you're talking to somebody, you can sit there and go, hey, I just need to step away for a minute because you know within yourself what's coming up so that you can then you know, take a walk and, and be able to work with it. And then you can come back to the conversation you're having. So anyway, guys, if you got any value out of this one, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love. And again, I've got the link down there to the Path to Self Mastery program where I'll guide you through understanding your triggers to your emotions, your thought patterns, and a number of other things so that you can become connected within yourself and have a healthy relationship with yourself and your emotions as well. So go and click on that one and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.